Okay, welcome back everyone! We need to- okay, let's- <laughs> let's see what's in here. And then we need to go and talk to her in that town that she mentioned. And we got a nugget! Can I go down th I cannot go down there, that's water. <laughs> okay. Look at the map. The mappy map. The mappy map that maps mappily. Hello, Mr. Man. All aboard! Yes! All aboard! Not just some aboard, but all aboard. Want to return to the service? Yes, I do! Hang on tight. You'll soon see blue skies and sunlight. Oh, that's nice. Oh, I'm, I'm wearing my glasses. That's gonna make the <laughs> video look bad. You can see glare in my eyes <laughs> from the lights. Oops. Thank you, nice lady. Nice seafaring lady. There we go. Ha ha! I can get up here now. I have to do is bam. There we go. Yes! Ha ha! Progress! Whoa! Um... That's not a Scorp gal, that's a Scorp man. Goodness. Um... Die, please. Die, please. Just die, please. Sorry, Tinker Bats, you were in my way. There we go, he's dead. <laughs> he done died it. <laughs> Whew. What's in here? What's that skull for? Uh, it's... Oh, there's stuff up there, but I can't get up there. Can I? Anything for me to... See? No? Okay. Ooh, Armor Town. Hello, pink-haired woman. Welcome to Armor Town. Do you believe that the best defense is a strong offense? I thought she was going to say is a good defense. <laughs> Do you believe that a good defense is a good defense? Like, well, yeah. <laughs> Where's the other way around? Huh. Hello, Mr. Man. Who took my Branson doll? It sure didn't wander off by itself. Not cool, man. I remember Branson. Oh, Branson's awesome. <laughs> He's from Pirate's Curse. My goodness. Fellow conductor, collector of me, I'm a monster card reseller. You know, all those messy leftover cards just filling up your pockets? We'll purchase those things for cold hard cash. But don't worry. You'll still, still keep all the useful cards for yourself. You even appraise your collection for free. Here goes. We get 290 gems. Sure, why not? Yes, better than keeping useless cards around. Go ahead and walk in here real quickly. Activate this. Thank you. There you are. There's Zapple. Hey, hey yourself. We meet again. Oh. Zapple. I did some checking. Both Plink and Vera shared their abilities with you. It's true. It's because of their powers that I, that I was able to find you. You saved them. They probably felt obliged to give you their power. I feel no such obligation. No, that's not... I want them to trust Varen Plink. Bring me a fusion stone and I'll share my magic with you too. Mm. Then I'll see those these heroics for myself. Okay, we have to go and find a... Uh, will she tell us where to find one? No, she will not. We have to go find a fusion stone! Wait, Armor Baron, what is in the room up above? Okay, okay, this just got interesting. Um, we have the Armor Baron to... I didn't want to come in here. Goodness. We have the Armor Baron to deal with. Here we are. Armor ba He looks different. Oh. Greetings, friend. Armor Baron's the name. <laughs> Defense is my game. Armor Baron? Not by any chance related to the Ammo Baron back home, are you? That's who I was thinking of. Okay, I was thinking of the Ammo Baron. Can you believe it? Oh, Sky. Ammo Baron has a brother. And what was that voice clip? <laughs> oh, oh, Ammo Baron has a brother. What? <laughs> and he's a stud muffin. So you finally got off your rump. You said nothing could make you leave the pool. You. Your uncle is worried sick. He said you fell into the city and something about sirens and risky boots. Oh, no. Why didn't you tell me all this before? If I'd known, I would have dropped everything and rushed to your aid. To think. I could have met this rugged stallion two chapters ago. Uh... uh... Is he really Ammo Baron's brother? I know, really? right? He must have got the good looks in the family, eh? Now I really don't trust him. Mm -hmm. Tut. 
There's no need for concern, I assure you. I'm not the belligerent, bellowing buffoon that my dear sweet brother is. Love him though I may, his actions weigh heavily on my heart. Huh? You mean you're a good guy? Listen, friend. May I call you friend? I'm gonna call you friend. Listen, friend. I understand your concern, friend. Am I going overboard with the friend stuff, my friend? Okay, friend. I'll stop it, friend. <laughs> but please, withhold the harsh judgment my namesake has surely earned. Give me a chance to demonstrate my pure intentions. After all, it is the mature thing to do. Swoon. Did someone say swoon? I said swoon, yes. <laughs> Your lovely friend Sky has made me a proposition. She proposed. Proposed? That I dedicate my craft, my knowledge of defense, to create the ultimate half genie armor. Ooh. <laughs> to protect you from harm. Yes, sounds very helpful. Wow. Wow, half genie armor. It will be the greatest armor my town has ever forged. In forging of armor, we have done. For many years, mm. the creation of durable, Ooh. sleek, ah. snug. It's going to be bikinis, isn't it? Yes. And sturdy body armor has shared the goal in in the life of every citizen of Armor Town. No, I, okay. We are, are, we are forged in the forge of life. Like, that's just the kind of joke this game would play on me. <laughs> like, ooh, I get armor. Nope, it's like a metal bikini. <laughs> and so we forge f uh, forward each and every day. That's a lot of forging. But we cannot accomplish this task on our own. To forge the ultimate extreme half-genie armor. Extreme! <laughs> You're missing a layer there, my friend. We need three ore chunks. Three chunks are for, uh, these chunks are formed by the relentless heat of the white sand dunes found on this island. Bring me three ch uh, ore chunks, and I'll forge you the ultimate extreme, the ultimate extreme powers unleashed half genie armor. <laughs> you do that for me? Of course. Considered a gesture of goodwill. Wheel. Yes, it goes round and round. <laughs> gesture of goodwill. My way of apologizing on behalf of my dear misguided brother. That is awesome. Thank you, Armor Baron. Oh, one more thing. Please take this. Ooh, it's a code book. What will it do? Huh? What is it? A gift for the mayor of Arena Town. Mm -hmm. That code book is quite old. I believe it contains security codes to the sunken city's defenses. With luck, he'll be able to steal those nasty sirens away for good. If you don't mind delivering them, that is. You can find the mayor back in Arena Town. I imagine that's the place he's a mayor of. Sure thing. <laughs> You can count on me. Don't forget. Don't forget about those three ore trunks. I know, I know. Goodness, I know. <laughs> ooh, ooh, I can I can bring this to life. And, ooh, a nugget. Yes. <laughs> Six nugs for a one-of-a-kind siren card. Yeah. Awesome. Give nuggets. Got two born siren master card. Yes. Nice doing biz with ya. Let's see what it does. Tortoise Bash attack causes higher damage than before. Okay. Oh, oh, and since I have max attract now, I don't need that. There we go. Haha, -ha, yes. Very nice. Hello, lady. What do you have to tell me? Users once saw a ghost ship off the coast near the tree town. Some say it was haunting an undersea grave. Could there really be a sunken wreck on the western sea floor? Okay. I think that's where I need to go. Oh, but first, but first, give the code book to the mayor. Hmm? This is bad. Got to contact the mainland somehow. Huh? Mayor? Uh, uh, are you okay? Fine, fine. Oh, Everything oh. is under control. Oh, you have something for me? Yes, yes I do. Get code book. Oh. The codes. Our neighbors in Armor Town spoke of this. Finally, some good news. The sunken city is a complex structure, and much of it is sealed off. My hope is that with a better understanding of how the city was built, I can block the advance of those creatures. What? You knew there were creatures lurking beneath this island? You still built an arena town here? Ah. <sighs> you see... You see... The town was already here. I pushed it in hopes of creating the ultimate vacation destination. The cost was low, and they were so eager to sell. Gee, I wonder why. <laughs> that, that's kind of a red flag in and of itself. Hey, this place looks nice. Oh, it's super cheap and you, cheap and you can't wait to get it off your hands? Uh, maybe I don't want to buy it. <laughs> Until you tell me what's going on, at least. Oi, 
I even had the island renamed. After all, no one would want to spend their vacation on Siren Island. Siren Island? I'd heard the rumors, but I didn't believe them. <sighs> dear, oh dear. I was such a fool. Mayor, I know you wanted me to stay out of trouble, but I went down there, into the sunken city beneath the island. You did? I was the only I was the one who freed Plink and Vera, and Zapple too. <gasps> but how could you accomplish this? The other half genies uh, used fusion stones to share their magic with me. Oh. Fusion stones, very clever. And the other two magical girls, they're still down there? They won't be for long. Young lady, I owe you an apology. I underestimated your abilities just because you were the youngest. Please, uh, hey. do whatever it takes to find those girls and stop those sirens. I'll do what I should have done long ago. Prepare this island for evacuation. Huh? Oh? What's this on the ground? Melba Toast! Oh, we can give that to... Uh, whoever dropped this must be awfully hungry. You can give that to What's-His-Face. <laughs> oh my goodness, what's his name? Bolo! Oh, whoops. Nope. Wait. Bolo! Here we go. Here's your Melba Toast. Hold up. Is that Melba Toast in your inventory? It sure is. Can I have it? Yes, you can. And what will give me a turn? So to toast with Mighty Crunch, Munch Munch Munch, Gua. That was like a vacation for my mouth. Seriously, I could go home now. Here, you can have these disgusting corn cob nut sack snacks. Nut snacks. There's an N in there. Nut snacks. <laughs> That's a very important letter. <laughs> oh my goodness. Toss them in the garbage. Feed them to Skies Birds. I don't even care anymore. You got nuts and bolts. Bolo. These aren't corn cob nut snacks. It's a bag of actual nuts. As in nuts and bolts. As in Banjo Kazooie nuts and bolts. <laughs> I still say they taste like ranch. As in horses and cows. So they taste like meat? Those are some weird nuts and bolts. Refreshing, Refreshing indeed. Yay, nugget! <laughs> Very nice, I got a nugget. Ow. Die, woman. Thank you. You too. Thank you. And then, now I have the ability to go down... Oh, whoops. Go down here! Yes! Haha! <laughs> yes! And that'll send me over here! Ooh, mermaids. Mermaids are always nice. <laughs> Even when they're mean, they're still nice to see. <laughs> Yes, sunken shipyard! Okay, this is where we need to be! And... There we go. <laughs> I kept pressing the button too late. Oh my goodness. Okay. Let's, uh, let's just skip those guys. My goodness. And it's dark. This is some good music, too. I like this. <laughs> Very nice. Uh, okay. Uh, oh, wait. I can get through here. And you can die, thank you. My goodness, that did 20 damage to him! Oi, Nugget! Yes! Haha! -ha. Three more and I can get another Siren card. There we go. And... More magic! Yes! Okay, okay. <laughs> Let's get away from these enemies, my goodness. They're painful, and I do not appreciate it. Ow. That hurts, you, you crab. <laughs> He's like, meh. <laughs> He's like, come over here. I can't get you over there. <laughs> Just region for me. Hello, Tinkerbat. Oh, no, I can't get through here. Oh, no, I have to go another way. Okay, I went the wrong way. <laughs> Whoops. Okay. Oh, well. There we go. I <laughs> Just kill everything along my path. What's in here? Old pork sandwich. <laughs> Probably not safe to eat that. It was just kind of laying there. <laughs> Oi. Okay, we saved our progress and we can end up here! Yes, thank you everyone for watching. Not much got done this episode. But... <laughs> but it'll have to do. Oh my goodness, I have... Uh, I have to go. <laughs> I have things to do. Bye!